Hey, good morning, Barons. Uh, you know, we've received numerous communications regarding the editorial cartoon that was published in our November 3rd issue of the student newspaper. The Crusader is a student-run newspaper, and students have editorial control over their publication, which by law can't be censored by administration nor the teaching staff. We do want to be clear that the views of the Crusader, specifically this editorial, are not the views of the Sweetwater Union High School District, the Benita Vista High School administration, or Benita High School staff, and especially myself. We at Benita Vista High School take pride in creating a positive culture and promoting peace in our community. The staff and students at Benita Vista High School continue to stand together against hate, and we are proud that the Barron Way encompasses the belief that the rich diversity on this campus is what makes us strong. So with that, make it a great day living the Barron Way. Good morning, Barons. I'm your host, Charlie. And it's Dylan. Welcome to November 6, 2023's BVTV broadcast. You know, that time change really helped with my <sighs> sleep schedule. Speak for yourself. My schedule's been feeling really weird lately. How does that even... Whatever. On to Xavier with the next segment. What's up, Barons? I'm Xavier Morrow, and today I'll be giving you my soccer hot takes. My hot take today is that Andre Onana will lead Manchester United to a Champions League title. If you don't know Andre Onana, he is a goalkeeper for the English soccer club Manchester United and they are currently in the Champions League with all the best teams in Europe. For those of you who know soccer, you may be laughing out loud right now because Onana is clearly off to a bad season. It is the first time in the club's history that Manchester United lose four of the first seven games of the Premier League. Also, Manchester United hadn't conceded three plus goals in three consecutive games since 1978. As you can see, Onana has made a lot of mistakes. I think this is the manager Eric Ten Hag's fault and he is ruining a world-class goalkeeper. Onana will be the success of this team as he has already saved a last-minute penalty to win United their first Champions League match along with Harry Maguire scoring the winner. Harry Maguire will come second in the Ballon d'Or as he is United's best defender and Onana will win the Golden Glove and win the Ballon d'Or, the award for the best player in the world. Onana will show the world why he was 55 million euros. That's all I got for today, Barons, and now on to the next segment. Thanks for the soccer hot takes, Xavier. Yo, yo. Bro, we're in the middle of a broadcast. Sorry, it's just the time change and everything. And? It's my grades. I've been trying to keep them up, but you know it's hard. Well, maybe this next segment can help you with that. Let's go on to it now. Hey, Barons, how you doing? It just seems like the semester tape's going by faster and faster, and with that end quickly approaching, so are our final grades. So if you feel like you need to catch up, or you know someone who does, why not consider, or have them consider, the after school, before school, and Saturday school opportunities offered you at Benita. So if tutoring to you, Barron, sounds like a viable option, remember the times from Monday through Thursday, before school is from 7.30 to 8.20, and then after school is immediately right after, Monday through Thursday, to 4.30. And then for Saturday school, it is from 8 a.m. to 12. That's it for now, and on to the next segment. Hey, Barons. Okay, remember the last broadcast when we told you to stay up on your grades and keep focusing and keep working? Well, sometimes it's good to take a break. Here are some ways you can take a break. First, you can take a nap. Second, you can listen to relaxing music. Third, you can listen to a meditation. Those are all the things I do to stay relaxed. That's all for me, Barons. I'm Luke, and we're heading back to the studio. Thank you. That was very... <sighs> you know, a nap really does sound great right now. Yo, dude, I'm awake. Dude, it's about time. Do you even know what we were talking about? Something about music? No. Favorite Christmas movies. But it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Bro, nobody even likes turkey. On to the next segment. 
Good morning, Barons. I'm Derek Candelario, and let me let you guys know that Thanksgiving isn't so bad. I know we just talked about Christmas, but let's admit, it's a little early. Look, I get it. Thanksgiving is the awkward middle child between Halloween and Christmas, but let's take this into consideration. For Thanksgiving, we get an entire week off. We don't get that for Halloween. And remember, Thanksgiving is always a time for celebration and thankfulness for your friends, family, and everything around you. So remember, Barons, let's be thankful this month and celebrate Thanksgiving. That's all from me, Barons. Now, let's go back to the studio. Hey, you're awake now. Of course I am. My neck hurts now. I'm sorry about that, bro. It's all good. Barons, next up we have a segment on how to study at home. Let's go on to that now. Good morning, Barons. It's me, Ryan, and one of our hosts had some trouble with some studying that they needed to do. So I'm here to bring you guys some study tips that I have used for one of our main anchors. As you know by now, studying in class or at the library isn't the most efficient way so that's why i study at home and i can't really focus around kids that are being loud and obnoxious while i'm trying to study first i want to talk about flashcards i've used flashcards throughout elementary school into now and they've just really helped me out with a lot of things with just memorization you know learning the key terms of certain things and just memorizing certain topics and make sure you're getting your sleep and your rest throughout the days you're not learning anything if you're not getting your sleep so make sure you get that rest go get a snack go get water before you sit down and actually knock out whatever assignment you're doing and like I am right now, make sure you find a quiet environment to do your work and not get distracted by any certain things. Also what helps out is turning your phone on silent and just making sure you got no distractions because distractions for me is the biggest thing. All right, that's all from me, Barons. Now on to the next segment. What's up, Barons? It's Nico, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about daylight savings time. So officially, it ends on November 5th, and that's when the clock falls back one hour. And I'm going to tell you guys a little fact about it. Daylight savings was first introduced in World War I in order to conserve gas lamp fuel for whatever else they needed in the war. Later, it was implemented into World War II so that soldiers could also have more fuel and more resources for the rest of the war. That's it for me, Barons. And now, on to the next segment. That's all for now, Barons. Ah, dang it, my neck. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to follow our Instagram and our website for daily updates. I'm Charlie. I'm Dylan. And we're signing, signing off. off.